Hi everyone, this is Alan Brandstetter and I'm an Employee Development Specialist here at Bapa Hicks. During this video, I'm going to talk to you about how you can access your Clifton Strengths dashboard. I'm going to describe the resources available to you there, and I'm going to highlight the documents that you'll need to save, print, read, and bring to class. The first thing that you'll need to do is open a browser. Once you do that, you can go ahead and search for Clifton Gallup Clifton Strength Center or you can go directly to gallopstrengthcenter.com. So I'm going to go ahead and search for Gallup Clifton Strengths Finder. All right, so it's the first thing here. Um, you'll see the web address here, gallopstrengthcenter.com. Click on that and this is going to bring us to their website. Uh, from here, we'll want to sign in. You're going to use the username and password that you provided when you uh, originally took the assessment. So mine is my work address. Yours should probably be that too, unless you send it to an external account. And my password, I'm not going to tell you what my password is, but that's where you put yours. And then you click here on sign in. So this is going to take you to your Clifton Strengths uh, dashboard. You'll see here at the top um, that you've got your top five uh, strength themes available. And then there's a chance to upgrade for $39.99 if you want, so we'll skip that. But that would let you know where you rate on all 34 of the strengths themes. So if you scroll down further, you'll see your top five themes. So minor context, activator, adaptability, woo, and empathy, as well as a very brief definition of what these themes are. Um, next, under Report and Tools, you'll see the Strengths Insight Guide and the Signature Themes Report. So we're going to start here with the Signature Themes Report. Go ahead and click on that, and it's going to compile um, all your themes onto a single document. If you scroll down, it's going to give you a background of the Clifton Strengths, as well as a list of your themes and a generic definition of the, your theme. Now these themes apply to everybody, or excuse me, these definitions apply to everybody. They haven't been personalized yet. So if you just want a general idea of what your of what your uh, themes are, you can come here. Uh, this is good for reference and for your information. Uh, we're not going to use it in class so much because we have the book available to us. And uh, we're more interested in understanding how these themes um, relate to you personally. So we'll go ahead and close this out, go back to our dashboard, and this is the document that we're really interested in, the Strengths Insight Guide. So we'll click on that. It's going to take a second to compile your document. You'll see here um, that it's got my top five themes, as well as a personalized definition of each theme. Now, again, this is personalized, so this is informed by the answers that you provided during your assessment. So um, Let's say that, well, I'll just give you an example. An example is uh, my wife and I are both, we both score high in empathy. And my definition, or excuse me, my strengths insight on uh, empathy that I was provided um, was much different than the way my wife's definition came out because her answers were different than mine. Everyone has uh, a way to relate to the 34 themes. And although you might share similarities with people, um, your answers can be very different. Um, they can be close, and you'll often see some of the same lines being used in other people's strengths insights, but they can also be very different. Um, so we'll want to save this document because we're going to use this document to explore and discuss our themes in class. So go ahead and up here and click on download. Uh, you'll see that I've already saved uh, this when I was preparing, so I'll just go ahead and click there and I'm going to save it directly to my desktop and click save. And once it saves, I can uh, saves, I can go ahead and click down here and close that out. And I can close out this tab. Alright, so now that we've got that, our strengths insight guide, and we know where to go for some generic descriptions of our themes, we can go and progress past these. Uh, these have been paywalled, so we're not going to worry about those. We're going to go down here to resources. So in the resources, we have create a drop, a certificate creator, and an action planning tool. Uh, we're going to ignore the create a drop for now, 
and we're going to focus on the certificate creator. So you'll click on that and you will get a document here uh, that you can save and this is your certificate of talent and it'll have your top five themes listed but more importantly it's going to have these color-coded lines listed next to your themes and their definitions. These are going to be important in class because when we talk about how your themes uh, relate to a team environment uh, we'll want to explore these colors and the domains that they are related to. So make sure you save and print this in color. So I'm going to go ahead and go up here and click save and I'm going to save it as certificate underscore gallop. Save it directly to my desktop and we're done with that. So you can go ahead and close out that tab and the action planning tool is really for your information only. So let's say that you want to create a personal development plan to turn your talents into strengths. Um, go ahead and click on that and this gives you actionable um, things you can do to build up your talents and turn them into strengths. So for example if you want to build your talent at context you can do any one of these things and you can think of them as individual workouts at the gym. So Monday's context day so I'm going to work on uh, helping my organization strengthen its culture via folklore. For example collect symbols and stories that represent the best of the past. So those are things I can do to contribute to my team using my skills and talents at context and if I keep doing that well over time they'll eventually turn into strengths and they'll become defining factors in my leadership skills and my aptitude within my profession. So again, this is, this is like a workout routine that you've gotten and that's for your information only. Um, you can use that with your mentor or a coach to develop yourself and your skills. All right, so we'll close that out. And the rest you've got here, you can explore the website. They have videos, they have resources. Now remember that Gallup is a for-profit uh, company so a lot of these things you'll have to pay for but we've provided you with uh, access to your top five themes as well as your strengths and insight guide your signature themes report and your certificate and your action planning tool and remember to bring to class your certificate as well as your strengths insight guide all right if you have any more questions uh, please feel free to contact me and I will see you in class.